Hi everyone. Um, I'm super busy right now with work. I'm a roofing contractor. We had a slow winter, and uh, so right now I got to give her. So that's why I'm just I'm just doing my questions in the truck here uh, on my iPhone for tomorrow's webinar. Uh, I really like this so far. Just uh, you know, I'm kind of behind the times with the computers and stuff, but this is this is pretty cool. Uh, learning all this stuff. Anyhow, uh, right now I am only using an iPad, and I I know I need to get a, uh, uh, a you know a computer soon. So, uh, but anyhow, just uh, for now, um, okay, okay, I'll just jump into my questions, and and uh, and w one of them I put on Facebook already is kind of what's the best way to get one a file that I make. Um, audio file that I make onto my website uh, you know and so that's one question second question is um, uh, what was it again oh yeah okay when I started making my videos and uh, I want to have on the bottom of the screen when I'm teaching the music let's say I'm playing the mandolin or the banjo or something uh, I think I would still like to have um, the chords on the bottom of the screen and and a couple of things that I'm thinking is a either having a little square uh, picture in picture square and I'll uh, have the guitar chords because it's easy to see what the chords are when you look at a guitarist's hands usually you know it, with open bluegrass chords anyways and then or the other thing is maybe have letters on the bottom of the screen uh, maybe either have the letter change every time the chord goes from a G to an A minor, have the letter at the bottom of the screen change from G to A minor, or maybe just have um, the whole progression, G, A minor, C, D, and you have the progression and, and the color changes every time it goes to a new chord, you know, the, the, the color from G goes to A minor, goes to C, goes to, you know, it's just, so I don't know, those I guess are just kind of advanced video techniques, I don't know if I can get into any of that with the iPad. Um, uh, I don't know, can I use my, uh, if I record with the iPad camera and I have a nice interface and I can hook a condenser mic up to that. So I think I can get decent sound. Is the video going to be way better going to one of those Kodak ZI 28s than an iPad? Or is it that much better that I should go get one of those? Uh, I don't know that. And the other thing, um, um, can I take videos that I'm making on iPad and stuff and put it into a video editing software like like you were explaining Final Cut and all these kind of things is there a Final Cut or something like that for iPad so okay this video is getting a bit long I understand that and and I know that maybe some of these questions aren't uh, valuable to the whole group so if they're not you can just don't have to answer them and, um, or if you just have like a quick tip you know oh, go check this website out or whatever so anyhow I'm just gonna leave that at that and let's stop the thing here uh, there we go